nine days left until the conference tournament and Boise the ball is tipped and Montana wins the opening tip. They will start going from left to right. Robbie Beasley has it up top. Beasley a topsy-turvy non-conference for him. He'll have it up top over to Brandon Whitney looking to drive down the right lane. Whitney through contact. He'll miss the shot and the rebound hauled in by Tarek Cool. Cool a senior from Chandler, Arizona. A transfer from Lane Community College making his 66th straight start tonight for the Bengals. Idaho State will slow tempo. They will take the air out of the basketball. Malik Porter now looking to drive. He'll dish it back outside. Porter gets it back. Tiptoeing baseline. Great defense from Carter Hollinger. Kicks outside. Braden Parker's three off the heel of the rim. No one a foul called on the rebound. It will be against Idaho State. Rebounding has been a struggle for both of these teams this year. The Grizzlies have been out-rebounded nine of their ten games. As you get a look at Travis Takir, 93 Big Sky Conference wins. He's had 14 or more Big Sky Conference wins in five of his seven seasons at the helm at his alma mater. Brandon Whitney over to Robbie Beasley, sporting a fresh new haircut here for conference play. An 11-day break for Montana. Beasley pulls the trigger from up top, and Montana on the board first. One minute into this game, and Robbie Beasley connects on his 25th made three-pointer of the season. Grizzlies up top, three to nothing. One minute into this one, they will give it to Braden Parker. Sophomore from Preston, Idaho, one of four Idaho products. Parker nearly saves the possession, but it goes over to Brandon Whitney. So a turnover for Idaho State. Grizzlies looking to move quickly, drive and kick. DJ Carter Hollinger, three on the way. This one off the heel of the rim, no, and rebounded by Tarek Cool. Idaho State coming off their best season in quite some time, 27 years to be exact. They went 13 and 11, just their second winning season in the last 18 years. Over on the right wing with it is Daxton Carr. They'll swing it around the perimeter. Austin Smaley, Mr. Consistent for ISU. As the ball will stay with Idaho State. Grizzlies eight and five. 1-1 one one in league play. They started with a conference road trip in early December where they beat Sacramento State before falling to Northern Colorado. Idaho State will inbound this one. Near midcourt, Tara Cool has it. Idaho State last in the Big Sky Conference in scoring offense and against Division I teams, averaging just 54 points per game as Tara Cool beats the timer and lays it in off the right side. And it's 3-2. Grizzlies have held five opponents under 50 points this year. They've hung their hat defensively as this young team gaining more experience. Very young last year, coming into their own a bit as Josh Bannon called for the offensive foul. A little bit of a push off with his right arm, and the Australian picks up number one. Back over to ISU. Idaho State, again, they have really struggled. Six of their nine losses this year have come by 11 points or more. Malik Porter up top. These two teams played a couple of thrillers in Pocatello last year. Grizzlies winning the final game by a single point. Here is Porter, turnaround jumper, halfway down, and it drops. Porter, a bit of a mystery. Six points per game for him, but his productivity has really been up or down. Transfer from CSI, the College of Southern Idaho, a JUCO powerhouse. Outside with it, DJ Carter Hollinger. Tiptoeing baseline, great pass down low, and Bannon goes off the window and good. And Montana moves back in front, 5-4. to four. Grizzlies are noticeably moving a little bit quicker here, trying to push the tempo a bit against Idaho State, who wants to slow it down and be deliberate as possible. Here's Porter one-on-one -on -one outside to Braden Parker. Parker is capable of shooting from outside. Now they get it back to Parker. He's in the paint, kick outside, good ball movement. Daxton Carr takes the three, tried to bank it in. It rims out. Rebounded by Beasley up the floor on the left side. Good up pass to Josh Bannon, who is fouled. I think Beasley surprised everybody by throwing it up. And Daxton Carr will pick up number one. So Bannon will toe the stripe. He will shoot two. We all know Montana how impressive they have been at the free throw line. They're up to third in the country, shooting 81%. Bannon's first one on the way. This one does rim out. Grizzly basketball is fueled by Town Pump. We're hiring a Town Pump. Visit townpump.com today. You see the throw-ahead pass and the bump from behind by Daxton Carr. 
for the Grizzlies, all 10 of the rotation players shooting 71% or better from the charity stripe as Bannon does salvage the second one. And Montana extends the lead to 6-4. to four. Opening frame here as Big Sky Conference play resumes the final game of 2021. Austin Smaley has it, guarded by Robbie Beasley. Over on the wing, the help comes from Mac Anderson. Smaley needs some help, throws it in the corner. Shot clock under 10 already. Here's Porter going to work. Back outside, Parker thought about it. Now to Tarek Cool. Shot clock to five. Cool, isolated by himself, and a foul on Mac Anderson. Right in front of the Grizzly bench, Anderson a bit out of position. What was unfortunate about that is Montana was solid for 27 seconds on that possession, but a bailout foul with three seconds remaining. A couple of subs in, Kyle Owens as well as Cam Parker. First two in off the bench. Cam Parker has relished in his sixth man role. He's seventh in the country in assists. He leads the Big Sky Conference. He's also top 10 in the nation in assist to turnover ratio. A little bit of a surprise that he is second on the team in rebounding as well. Smaley will inbound it. So he goes over to Emmett Taylor into the game. He's a three-point threat. He's made seven of his last 11 from long range. Tara Cool has it up top, throws over to the right wing and car. Shot clock under 10. They will throw it in the post. Here is Parker going to work on Owens. One-on-one -on, -one on the right block. Turnaround, left hand, gets the roll. We're all tied up at six. Braden Parker, third on the team in scoring and rebounding. He's in double figure scoring 14 times last year, and he was honorable mention all big sky. Here's Parker, up top, the passing wizard over to Robbie Beasley, creating some space foot on the line, and the jumper good. So Beasley, such a rhythm player, he is getting it going early. He has five of the Grizzlies, eight points, as Montana extends the lead, eight to six. Up top, Daxton Carr, and over to Emmett Taylor, swinging it around the perimeter. They feed the post this time. Going to work is Parker. They like the matchup. Here is Parker, kept his pivot foot, turnaround jumper. This one short, and a strong rebound cleared by Bannon. Up the floor to Robbie Beasley. Montana running in transition. Over to Whitney, right corner three, woefully short. Good fight from Kyle Owens underneath, and he is fouled. And the Grizzlies five on the floor. Out of this timeout, Kyle Owens, Cam Parker, Josh Bannon, Robbie Beasley, and Brandon Whitney is the first free throw. Rims out from Kyle Owens. Just his second miss of the year from the line. He scored his 500th career point against Santa Clara. He is one rebound away from his 250th rebound in a Grizzly uniform. The 6'8 junior from Calabasas, California will make the second one. And the Grizzlies lead is up to three at nine to six. Five minutes gone here in this opening half. Tara Cool, he does it all for Idaho State. Leads the team in scoring in minutes, also second on the team in assists. Into the game, Zach Vicentin, a freshman from Springville, Utah. He has it up top. Owens defending. Usually has to defend a player taller than him is Emmett Taylor. He is fouled by Cam Parker. That again was right in front of the Grizzly bench. So three fouls already against Montana. As DJ Carter Hollinger will check back into the game. Coming out is Josh Bannon. Talk about the Grizzlies' depth and how they have so much scoring balance. But Coach DeKir told us in the post game, Santa Clara, it's almost an Achilles heel for this team. He really is looking to see a couple of players step up. We'll see if we find it in the first couple of weeks of Big Sky play. The Grizzlies will certainly be challenged as an offensive foul is called on Tarek Cool, who looks stunned in the left corner. Goes back the other direction. Before Montana, it really heats up after tonight. They welcome in Weber State on Saturday, then have a road trip at Eastern Washington and at Montana State, before then having Southern Utah. The reigning league champion come here to Missoula. So the first five games of the conference season will find out a lot about this Grizzly team. They currently lead Idaho State 9-6. Back up top, Kyle Owens, a high arcing three. That one rims out. And the rebound hauled in by Tara Cool. Cleared the other way for Idaho State. Into the front court on the right side. They'll get into their offense. And Austin Smaley, junior from Preston, Idaho, down the left lane. That one rims out. He's fighting for the offensive rebound. DJ Carter Hollinger hits the floor and over to Brandon Whitney. Good hustle play. Can the Grizz take advantage? Whitney, a couple of low dribbles. Keeps his pivot foot. Now outside. Good pass down low. And Kyle Owens connects on the layup. And Montana has their largest lead at 11-6. Three 
Three points for KO, who is in a little bit earlier than we've seen in the last couple of games. Coach Takira said he does a lot of thinking around Christmas time, and you might see a little bit of a different version of this Grizzly team as Kyle Owens, a trademark charge drawn. He's taken 21 charges in each of the last two seasons. Add that to the list on this season's total, and back over to Montana. 13.29 to go in half number one. Montana has opened up an early five-point lead at 11 to six. The longest break under Coach DeKir, 11 days. DJ Carter Hollinger having it up top, has a lane to the basket, jump stop, athletic play, and he gets the roll. The lead has been extended 13 to six. And Ryan Looney, the third year head coach for Idaho State, needs to take a timeout. Cam Parker to DJ Carter Hollinger, nifty start and stop. Got the kind roll through some traffic and the Grizzlies have opened up the early lead with 13 minutes to go. Grizzly fans, come visit us at Finn, the new home for the Grizzly Coaches Show. Our first basketball show will be at noon this next Tuesday, January 4th. Hope you can join us. First half hour will be Grizzly basketball with Travis DeKeer and his coaching staff. From 1230 to 1, we'll have Brian Holsinger and the Lady Grizz staff as we check the Providence scoreboard. The Lady Grizz down at Idaho State, they trail 14 to 12, but they were trailing by eight points early on. So battling back, a tough place to play. Lady Grizz are without Sophia Stiles tonight. The point guard from Malta, hope to get her back in the lineup soon, but playing a bit shorthanded at the reigning league champion. So we'll keep you up to date on the Providence scoreboard. Also underway, Sac State at Southern Utah and Weber State at Montana State on the men's side as well. Back underway, Grizzlies not making any substitutions. They lead by seven. Idaho State, three of seven out of the gates. The Grizzlies have scored seven in a row. Up top, Tara Cool. He'll be harassed all night. And Kyle Owens caught out of position. He'll pick up his first foul. And number four on Montana was on the floor. As checking back in is Daxton Carr. Emmett Taylor will come out. Idaho State 0-6 on the road this year. They've scored 48 points or fewer their last three road games. One common opponent for these two was Air Force. The Bengals lost by 11 points in Colorado Springs. And we all know the Grizzlies, one of their best performances of the year is they beat Air Force by double figures here at home. Down low, Daxton Carr. He'll draw some contact and he'll go to the free throw line for two. As DJ Carter Hollinger whistled for his first. So good news, bad news situation. Montana already with five fouls called against them, but no one has picked up two fouls yet. DJ caught out of position as Daxton Carr will toe the line. Just a 54% free throw shooter. In fact, this Idaho State team has really struggled at the charity stripe as that one rattles home. Subs coming in and out. Josh Bannon back in. The Grizzlies will go a little bit bigger here as Brandon Whitney checks out. The Bengals shooting just 65% from the charity stripe. Daxton Carr is a transfer from Cal Poly. This is his third year at Idaho State. He redshirted two years ago, came back home. He's a Pocatello, Idaho product. Played at Highland High School, won the 5A state title back in 2016. Second free throw off the heel of the rim, no. Back over to Montana, leading by six at 13 to seven. Robbie Beasley has it up top over to Cam Parker. Parker. In the sixth man for this Grizzly team, dishes it outside to Kyle Owens. He'll take a left wing jumper. This one's short. Owens one for three out of the gates. And over to Idaho State as Malik Porter. We'll have it over to Austin Smaley and down low in the post. Have a size mismatch here as be a foul call. This time it's on Carter Hollinger. That will be his second. Mac Anderson will come back into the game as Liam Sorensen, a freshman from Denmark. Wearing number one, checking in. And coming in for the first time for Montana will be Josh Vasquez. Vasquez, the junior from Torrance, California. Really picked it up over the last four games after struggling out of the gates the first nine. Hoping to continue that trend. Both teams going into their bench a bit. Sorensen, an acrobatic move off the window, no. And the ball is still loose. Sorensen is fouled by Mac Anderson. That's team foul number seven now on Montana. And Mac Anderson now quickly picks up his second. And with 12.05 to go. Antoine, 
Idaho State already in the bonus, and we will see Lonel Martin come in for the first time. So Grizzlies play a rotation of 10. There is no Scott Blakeney again. He is missing his third game of the season tonight. So we'll see a rotation of nine from Montana, and all nine officially entering the game. The five that are out there for the Grizz are Martin, Vasquez, Owens, Bannon, and Parker. At the line is Sorensen, seven of eight at the stripe this year. The front end of the one and one is good. He will earn the second. For Idaho State, they have just struggled. Last in the Big Sky Conference in seven of the 21 statistical categories. Second free throw good, makes it 13 to nine. But they are coming off a historical season. You know it's there, 13 and 11, fourth in the Big Sky Conference. And again, their best winning percentage in 27 years. Looking to find it in a win here in Missoula would certainly spark the second half of their season. Here's Parker down the lane, off the window, no. A bit out of position and over to Sorensen with the rebound for ISU. Coming through traffic, stops at the right elbow. Good defense from Lionel Martin. He'll get the steal. And a turnover for Idaho State. Owen oh, streaking down the lane. He's blocked on the way to the basket. Bannon, though, collects the loose ball. He's double teamed outside to Martin and a whistle underneath and a travel whistled against Josh Bannon. Lead Northern Colorado, Montana, and Montana State. Back underway, Montana leading by four at 13 to nine. Coming up on 11 minutes to go in half number one. Down low, Sorensen, he'll find Porter. Good extra pass and a teardrop. No, Porter put back, that won't go. Sorensen stripped underneath and Lonel Martin clears the rebound for Montana. Here's Cam Parker, front court left side. Parker so far, just one assist for him. Averaging nearly seven per game. Bannon tucked away in the corner, finding Martin. Catch and shoot three from the left wing and Martin knocks it down. Trying to bust out of a shooting slump. The junior and the transfer from Otero Junior College shooting just 28% from deep. That's his 19th made three-pointer of the year. And the Grizz are up by seven. Foul called on Martin. And it's team foul number eight for Montana. Two players now with two, and Mac Anderson and DJ Carter Hollinger. So it'll be interesting to see Coach Takir, how he mixes up the rotations. This is where the depth will certainly help Montana. They have nine capable players here tonight. Again, no Scott Blakeney. He missed the game against Omaha with a shoulder ailment. Missed the Santa Clara game as well as tonight. He has a brace on his thumb as the front end of the one and one is good from Braden Parker. Parker, a hometown product as well. Led Preston High School, who's just 70 miles from Pocatello, to three straight 4A state titles. Second free throw, halfway down and out, and Lon L. Martin playing a bit inspired tonight after being pulled from the starting lineup. He gets the rebound and over to Robbie Beasley. Over on the right wing, Beasley had a brief opening. Over to Martin, he swings it to Vasquez. Back to Martin around the perimeter with 15 to shoot. Beasley will take it from the left wing, and he knocks it down to the Grizz. Sharp shooters from outside. The third made three for Montana, and the lead is nine and 19 to 10. Coming up on the midway mark here in half number one. Driving with it is A.J. Bergen, a freshman from San Diego. Outside three taken and made by Braden Parker. We told you he was capable from outside. The 6'8 sophomore buries the triple to answer Montana. Beasley left open, left corner three. This one rattles in. It's the Robbie Beasley show early. He's made all four of his shots. He has 11 points. And the Grizzly 22 to 13. Daxton Carr over to A.J. Bergen wearing those bright orange shoes. You can't miss him on the floor. And down low to Braden Parker. They feed him again with Josh Bannon defending. Grizzlies in some foul trouble already. Turnaround is up and good. And Bannon almost had to let him go. Grizzlies already with two big men that have picked up two fouls and Anderson and Carter Hollinger. Bannon cannot afford to pick up number two. Beasley over to Vasquez. As Vasquez down the lane, had an opening outside. Beasley open again. Heat check three. This one off the right side of the rim. The first miss of the night from Beasley. And over to Idaho State. 
Nine minutes to go here in the opening half. It's 22 to 15. Coach Dakir, the blood pressure rising a little bit. As down low, it's Daxton Carr with an easy flush. In the top two in the league in attendance for quite some time. Em and Weber State, great fan bases, and everyone knows when conference play resumes. Final 18 games for Montana, all league contest. Over to Robbie Beasley, Grizzlies lead by five at 22 to 17. They'll feed the post this time. Bannon going one on one, turn around with the right hand, hit two parts of the rim before falling out. So Bannon, a bit of a slow start. It's three points, one rebound for him. Idaho State on the right perimeter with eight and a half to go here in the opening stanza. Good pass out of the post to Malik Porter. They find it back in the hands of Austin Smaley. Tara Cool, the leading scorer, has a good pass on the baseline. Left hand three, taken and missed off the front iron. No offensive rebound from Daxton Carr. He'll get it to Smaley, thought about the three. Smaley has been Mr. Consistent the last couple of seasons. Last three years, he's averaged nine points and four rebounds per game. He has similar numbers this year as well. Here's Cool, fadeaway jumper from the left side of the rim. That won't go, missed everything. And Vasquez takes the carom into the front court, middle of the floor, drops it off to Bannon. Bannon has shown he can shoot from outside this year. A lot better than a season ago. Beasley, he's had the hot hand, 11 points already. Over to Vasquez, in the paint, outside to Bannon. 14 seconds to shoot. Bannon will shuffle it over to Martin. He'll try a three again. And Lonel Martin was fouled on a three-pointer going into the timeout, so he will shoot three. First one is up and good for Martin. He's in a shooting slump where he missed 19 straight shots. Come on strong a little bit better the last two games. The second free throw good as well. He's been a double-figure scoring four times, but he's also had five times where he has not scored. So really has been an adjustment for the junior here to the Division I game. An amazing story. He tore his PC, PCL and AAU balls. He cans the third free throw. Didn't want to jinx it. He has made all nine of his free throws this year, so still at a perfect 100%. He tore his PCL before his senior season in high school and has really had the uphill battle since and has finally achieved his dream of being a Division I basketball player. Grizzlies lead 25 to 17 as we approach the seven minute mark. That ball was kicked in the passing lane. So they'll reset the shot clock to 20. Grizzly five on the floor are Bannon, Martin, Beasley, Whitney, and Owens. Mac Anderson, DJ Carter Hollinger, who was inserted into the starting lineup tonight, both with two fouls. Haven't seen much of Cam Parker so far in this game as well. As the inbounds pass is stolen away, here's Brandon Whitney up the floor to Robbie Beasley. Beasley didn't like the opening and will feed the post and Bannon going one-on-one -on, -one on the right block. Good move from Bannon, hard off the window and good. The Aussie delivers, he has five points and the Grizzlies have their largest lead of the game and their first double figure lead at the game at 27 to 17. Over to Braden Parker who will feed it to Emmett Taylor, a junior from Lapway, Idaho. He's a marksman from deep and a touch foul call. It's on Lionel Martin. He will be the third Grizzly to pick up his second foul, and that will have Cam Parker inserted into the game. It was the ninth team foul, so the final one and one coming for Austin Smaley, who shoots it at 75% from the charity stripe. He's been a double figure scoring 29 times during his Idaho State career. It's one of the few for Ryan Looney that has not transferred into the program. Seven of the top ten players for ISU are transfers in this day and age of college basketball. Front end of the one and one is good. Brings it back to a single digit game at 27 to 18. Down in Pocatello, the Lady Grizz are trailing Idaho State 28 to 19. Second free throw, this one good. Makes it 27 to 19. Idaho State, sixth made free throws. The Grizzlies have been whistled for nine fouls. Parker outside the perimeter on the right wing will find Josh Bannon. It shuffles it to Robbie Beasley. Beasley, a lot of attention being paid his way now as Brandon Whitney will bounce it to Kyle Owens. Great ball movement. Owens gets it back in the corner, doesn't like the look. Over to Parker. Parker now looking to drive, back to the basket. Parker finds outside, over to Bannon, shoulder down, finding Beasley, three to shoot, Beasley extra pass, Parker right wing three, this one off the front iron, no. And the rebound hauled in by the Sense, and the Grizzlies are moving the ball well. Second in the league with over 16 assists per game. 
Here is Porter down low. He will drop it off the and That shot no good. And Josh Bannon is fouled on the rebound. It's foul number seven against ISU. So the Grizzlies will walk to the other end of the floor. And will shoot a one and one with 6.03 remaining. Bannon, 19 points and a career high 13 rebounds last year at Idaho State. Seven double doubles in his career, three last year. And already four this year. What's amazing about Josh Bannon's stats so far this season are the home and road splits in seven home games. 15 points per game and nine rebounds per contest on the road, averaging just eight points and five rebounds per game. The front end of the one and one is no good. Second missed free throw from Bannon. He's one of three from the strike. Back over to Idaho State with six minutes left to go in the opening half. The margin is eight. Taylor to Smaley, back to Tarek Cool. Cool with just two points in this game. The Grizzlies have really locked him down. On the right wing, they'll swing it over to Porter in the corner. Hierarchy left three, just grazes the iron. Offensive rebound from Emmett Taylor. That shot won't go. Not his game playing from inside the arc, and the Grizzlies coming the other direction. Front court, Cam Parker. Grizzlies held a 10-point lead briefly, looking to get it back. Brandon Whitney down the right lane, a couple of low dribbles, and back to Robbie Beasley. Shot clock to 12. The Grizzlies have played with a little bit more pace tonight. Beasley getting a screen from Owens. Now we'll take it off the right window. No, put back from Owens is there. KO in the right place at the right time. He set the screen, and it's funny. Basketball is a way of working itself out that way. As Owens gets the bucket, he has five points in the lead back to 10, 29 to 19. Around the perimeter, passing Malik Porter has it. Season high 20 points against UMKC's at eight points or fewer every other game. Here's Taylor, a deep three-pointer off the front iron, no, and a rebound from Bannon. It's the fifth rebound for Bannon to lead Montana outside Brandon Whitney. Whitney looking to drive off the window, no. Actually didn't use the glass. It hit three parts of the rim before falling home. And Brandon Whitney on the board. His first points, the lead is 12, 31 to 19. Idaho State has missed their last six shots from the floor. They haven't scored in nearly three minutes. Smaley around the perimeter. On the left side of the floor, Tara Cool has it. Malik Porter finding it. Dribble handoff to Emmett Taylor. Good defense from Cam Parker. Shot clock to five. They feed the post this time. Porter going to work in the paint. Outside three taken by Parker, and he drills it. Second made three for the big fella. In fact, he has both made threes for Idaho State. The three-point line, really interesting numbers. The Grizzlies last in the country against Division I teams, allowing 48% from deep. But Idaho State, they shoot at just 27% from long range. That's bottom 15 in the country. So something has to give tonight. ISU 2 of 7 from long range early on. Here's Owens. Shuffles it outside to Cam Parker. Now hung in mid-half when they have a higher shooting percentage. All three check the boxes at least so far. With 3.32 to go in half number one, it's a nine-point lead for Montana. 31 to 22. Here's Whitney hanging in midair. Can't get it to roll, but the putback is good. Montana taking advantage of some second chance opportunities. And the lead back to double figures, 33 to 22. Liam Sorensen, the freshman from Denmark, spinning on the baseline and foul called against him. Excuse me, a travel. Turnover number seven against Idaho State. Just two committed against the by the Grizzlies, I should say, and that's top 10 in the country. They commit fewer than 10 turnovers per game. Here is Parker at the free throw line, a dangerous pass over to Vasquez. Vasquez back outside Parker. Under three minutes to go in the first half. Grizzlies up by 11. As Parker will kick outside, Owens left wing three way long. Nearly an air ball and rebounded on the weak side by Emmett Taylor. Coming back the other way is Idaho State. Not really a team that is built to play from large deficits. The next couple of minutes are crucial going into halftime. ISU on the perimeter. It's Smaley looking to drive and a good take off the window and good. Smaley fourth on the team in scoring, the team leader in assists, but this time taking it to the hole with authority. And it's 33 to 24. Approaching two minutes to go now. It's Brandon Whitney. 
It's over to Cam Parker. Parker looking to move the basketball around the perimeter outside Owens. Thinking about the three. Instead, we'll go back to Whitney. Whitney, good defense from Smaylo to close him out. NBA three from Vasquez is good. The 13th May triple of the year from number three, Josh Vasquez. The Grizzly match their largest lead at 12. Last time in this building, Vasquez made five three-pointers and scored 19 points against Segu AIC. As Mac Anderson, beneficiary, being in the wrong place at the wrong time again, as Anderson whistled for his third foul in just six minutes of game action. Team foul number 10. Travis Takir talking with Casey McClellan right now as the first free throw rims out. ISU 6 of 9 from the charity stripe. They'll make a couple subs in and out. Josh Bannon is coming in for Mac Anderson. 144 left to go in half number one. It's 36-24 Montana looking for their 22nd straight win over Idaho State. Last loss against the Bengals came back in 2009 on New Year's Eve. We mentioned in the open, but three of the last four between these two have been decided by six points or fewer. Second free throw is good. Margin is 11, 36 to 25. 138 left to go. Here is Beasley over on the left side to Brandon Whitney. Beasley now at the free throw line. Two-man game between the sophomores. Back to Beasley. Here's Vasquez, maybe feeling it a little bit. Free throw line jumper. This one off the right side of the rim. No one a foul call. This one will be against Idaho State. And whistled forward is Braden Parker, the leading scorer for the Bengals, has picked up his second with 125 to go. And Ryan Looney will certainly take him out and not gamble with his leading scorer tonight. With 85 seconds left to go. Here in the opening half, 36-25 the score. It's a one and one upcoming for Kyle Owens. And the front end is good. Grizzlies have uncharacteristically missed three free throws tonight. They're third in the country at 81% from the stripe. As the second one, good as well from KO. He has seven points in 11 minutes off the bench, embracing his role as it has come on throughout the course of the year. Malik Porter, top of the circle, approaching one minute to go. 38-25, the largest lead of the game at 13. Smaley on the left wing, guarded by Beasley, turn around, and a good closeout from Beasley. Smaley has to pass out of it, seven to shoot. Cool gets his man in the air, now attacks the rim. High arcing teardrop, no. Offensive rebound, Porter, his bucket good. 38-27, and for the second time, you see Bannon just standing there. Not much else he can do. Grizz can go two for one if they hurry. 44 seconds left to go in the opening half. The lead is 11. And a moving screen call. It's against Robbie Beasley. Beasley will pick up his first. 10-second difference between the clocks. And a 38 to 27 score. As Malik Porter will get it to Tarek Cool. Could be the final offensive possession for Idaho State here in the opening half. Cool driving high off the window and good. Cool with just his fourth point of the night. As the Grizzlies will hold for the final shot, the shot clock has been turned off. It's a nine-point game at 38 to 29. 15 seconds left to go. Robbie Beasley's led the way with 11 points for Montana. He has the ball in his hands right now. Grizzlies perfect when leading at the half this year. Beasley drive and kick. Owens left wing three is up and good as time expires in the open. This environment from here in Missoula. They'll flip hoops around Idaho State. We'll go from left to right here in half number two as we are underway. Tara Cool with just four first half points. Leading score for this squad. They run a play for him right out of the gates and he converts the layup. Makes it 41 to 31. Tara Cool 
making his 66th straight start tonight, closing in on 1,000 career points. The transfer from Lane Community College, he's done it all, the senior from Chandler, Arizona. Brandon Whitney the other way for Montana, starters back out there and a foul call. Whitney will go to the line. Grizzlies changed up their starting lineup tonight as DJ Carter Hollinger got the start for Lionel Martin. But Martin has played good minutes off the bench, six points. Made a three-pointer as well. Brandon Whitney will toe the line for two. Whitney, bit of a rough stretch, but a lot of that has had to do with him being in and out of the lineup. He missed three of the last seven games due to a couple different injuries. He's still top three on the team in scoring, assist, and minutes played. Been in double figure scoring three times this year, but none in the last five games. He converts both free throws. The Grizzlies lead back to 12 at 43 to 31. Grizzlies a perfect 8-0 when leading at the half for Idaho State. They are 3-33 under Ryan Looney when trailing at the half. Here is Smaley running through the paint. He gets stripped, and the Grizz are on the run the other way. Here's Whitney to the rim. He's rejected from behind by Braden Parker. Whitney seemed a little bit hesitant whether he should pass it or not. Ended up trying to score it, and Parker made him pay. So Idaho State back the other way, trailing by 12. Parker bumping up against Anderson, playing with three fouls, and the turnaround with the left hand is good. Braden Parker, silky smooth tonight. He averages eight points per game. He has 14 in this one. He had nine points or fewer in his last six games, but erupting tonight down low against Montana. The lead is 10, 43 to 33. Whitney and Beasley playing a two-man game up top. Beasley stop and start, bounced it down low. Anderson stripped on the way, and Mack will go to the line for two. Anderson, a starter that knows his role. That is for sure. He's the glue guy for this Grizzly team, one of three seniors, but the only one that has been here for the entirety of his career. And the first free throw is good. What's been really impressive is watching Mack improve from the free throw line. As a sophomore, he shot 57%. Last year, he was up and over 70%. And this year, he's just under 80%. That was his first point, and calmly he makes the second. Both teams going back and forth here the first couple of possessions. It's 45-33 Montana, looking to beat Idaho State for the 22nd consecutive time. Smaley will bounce it to Zach Vicenten, who started the first three games of the year, has come off the bench. Now the next nine, Tara Cool. Wrap around pass, Vicenten, turn around with the left hand, no, and a nice rebound from Anderson. They got dislodged, fighting forward in the corner is Porter, but he stepped on the baseline. So to go over to Montana, two minutes into this second half, the lead is 12 at 45 to 33. You thought at least on paper this would be a slugfest and maybe a first to 60 type game. Well, Montana shooting better than 50% in the opening half, six made threes, and they're all on their way to getting to that number and eclipsing it as Robbie Beasley. Has it over to DJ Carter Hollinger in the paint. DJ picked up two early fouls. That ball poked out of bounds. It'll stay here. Carter Hollinger played just five first half minutes and had two points. He'll inbound it in front of the Grizzly bench and over to Robbie Beasley. 10 seconds left to shoot. Here is Beasley looking to go. Good pass down low. Anderson, he's fouled on the way. For the second time in the last minute, Mac Anderson will go to the free throw line for two more. Zach Vicentin whistled for this foul. It's a great give and go. Nice pass from Robbie Beasley. See Vicentin getting the left arm of Anderson, and Mac will toe the stripe for two more. 98th game of Mac Anderson's career, making his 30th start, makes the first free throw. His best game of the season came against Air Force, where he had 10 points and 8 rebounds. Started every game this year, and he's just as steadily improved and does everything the team asks of him. Perfect 4 of 4 at the line here in the second half. It's 47 to 33. Tara Cool out on the right wing as they'll shuffle it around the perimeter and over to Smaley, feeding the post to Malik Porter. Porter had a couple of big games against Montana early on and a foul called on DJ Carter Hollinger. 
it'll be his third. And you feel for DJ, he's getting the Mac Anderson treatment a little bit. As far as being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Mac Anderson and DJ Carter Hollinger both on the floor with three. Here's Porter looking to drive, foul called, counted and one. So DJ Carter Hollinger whistled for the foul again, and that's number four. So DJ with four fouls in nine minutes of game action, and he certainly earned the start. After that performance against Santa Clara with 17 points in 28 minutes. Tough for him to stay on the floor tonight as Porter will go to the line. Malik Porter, six points, three rebounds per game. Fifth on the team in scoring. Played just eight minutes against UC Santa Barbara as he will make the free throw to complete the three-point play. It's 47 to 36. Just over 17 minutes left to go. It's all four games in play right now. Big Sky Conference action, Idaho and Northern Arizona, if you didn't hear the news. Game canceled or postponed for the moment as Beasley drives and kicks. Owens right corner three, this one's short. Beasley crashes the offensive glass outside to a trailing band and his three is good. The 12th made three of the year for Josh Bannon. Continuing on his production here at home. His home road splits are quite astonishing. But he makes that three and the Grizz have their largest lead of the night. Now at 14. It's a kicked ball. On Brandon Whitney. We'll put the shot clock at 20. Nearing our... First media timeout here of half number two. It's 50 to 36. Tara Cool up top will bounce it to Zach Vicenten. Over to Daxton Carr. Carr looking to feed the post, and Mac Anderson picks off that pass. Turnover number nine for the Bengals. Grizzlies in transition. Bannon over to Beasley. Right up top for three. Off the left side of the rim, no. Beasley, after making his first four, has missed his last three. Porter finding Daxton Carr on the perimeter on the right wing. Perimeter passing for Idaho State. Foreman is gone here in this second half. And Tarek Kuhl on the baseline. The controls for our ESPN Plus broadcast. Montana leads by 14. Come out strong out of the gates. A good offensive showing. They break the pressure. They find Mac Anderson with the flush down low. Electrifies the crowd. And Montana leads by 16. Anderson with six second half points. 52 to 36. Does Idaho State have the answer? A team that's 0-9 against Division I competition this year. Six of those nine losses coming by double figures. They are struggling tonight. And they throw it away. Turnover number 11 against the Bengals. The Grizz have only committed three. Looking for more. It's Robbie Beasley coming up top. He will throw over to the right wing and Brandon Whitney. Whitney now at the foul stripe. Through some contact. Doesn't get the roll. And a rebound from Tarek Cool. Across the Grizzly logo, middle of the floor. Idaho State, not a team that's... That dangerous from the perimeter is a foul underneath. That's on Robbie Beasley. To be his second. Emmett Taylor will come in. Cam Parker will counter for Montana. Grizz have played nine players tonight. No Scott Blakeney for the third time this year. Kyle Owens will take a seat. Great minutes off the bench for KO. 10 points in 14 minutes of game action. And another foul whistled against Montana. This one on Beasley as well. That'll be number three on Robbie Beasley. So now Lonel Martin will come in for Beasley. Tara Cool up top, guarded by Brandon Whitney, the Grizzlies' best perimeter defender. He has locked him down for the most part tonight. 
Kulwich is six points in the contest. Driving down the lane, he is bumped by Mac Anderson. And that's going to be the fourth on Anderson. So the, the Grizz are in all sorts of foul trouble. What about the only thing that hasn't gone Montana's way? And Kyle Owens didn't have to sit for very long. He comes right back into the game for Anderson. So the five Grizzlies that are now on the floor will be Owens and Bannon down low, Lonel Martin, Brandon Whitney, and Cam Parker. Frustrating for Mac because he has had a really productive second half. Over to Daxton Carr on the left wing. He'll give it back to Austin Smaley and up top to Tarek Cool. Cool with a couple of dribbles, middle of the floor, angles over to the left side. With five seconds left to shoot, Cool through some traffic, gets the runner to go. So Cool now with eight, trailing only Braden Parker, who leads Idaho State with 14 points. That is the margin right now, 14 point lead for Montana. 14 minutes and 17 seconds to go. Final game of 2021. Here's Bannon as a lane to the basket, and he slams it down. The Grizz are up by 16 as Bannon with authority is now in double figures with 10. Grizzlies putting on a highlight show here in the second half as that three-pointer is missed by Smaley. Coming back the other way, Parker into the front court. A throw ahead pass to Martin. Right wing three off front iron. No. The rebound cleared by Emmett Taylor. Taylor on the left side of the floor and a foul on Montana. Third foul on Lonel Martin. So now there are four Grizzlies that have three fouls or more in this game. As Smaley will be the inbounder to the right of the basket. Smaley will get this one into Tara Cool. And a foul now called on Idaho State. And unfortunately, this is turning into a bit of a foul fest. We have 11 fouls called in the opening six minutes here of the second half. 54 to 38, 13 and a half to go in the contest. Grizzlies comfortably leading by 16. Parker to the left elbow, will find Whitney. Great low dribble for Brandon, he's in the middle of a triple team. Passes outside to Parker, finding Martin, cutting on the baseline. Back outside, Chris saved the possession, eight to shoot. Bannon will take the three, off front iron, no, and a foul on the rebound. This will go against Parker. And that's the fourth on Braden Parker. So what will Ryan Looney do? His leading scorer and by far the most productive offensive player tonight for the Bengals has been whistled for his fourth and he will check out for Zach Vicenton. Daxton Carr comes out, Malik Porter comes in and the third sub in is Liam Sorensen. Just over 13 minutes left to go. Six fouls on each team will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. A total of 31 fouls called in this game. We haven't even played 30 minutes. Here's Bannon into the post, rises over a double team, misses the shot, fight for the rebound, still loose. Bannon chases it down in the corner. Over to Parker, second chance for Montana. 15 seconds to shoot. Whitney open briefly, now weaving through the paint, up and under move, and Brandon Whitney slithers his way to the basket. And the lead is now 18 at 56 to 38. Whitney with eight points in the contest, knocking on the door to be the fourth Grizzly in double figure scoring. Here's Smaley down the lane, and an offensive foul called. Kyle Owens standing in to take his second charge of the night. And Smaley whistled for his third. So now a ton of key players in foul trouble on both sides of the floor. Take a look at the charge. Kyle Owens, again, that's his trademark. He's taken over 50 charges in his Grizzly career. 56 to 38, 12 36 left to go in the contest. It's Bannon and Parker dribbling it up the floor with Whitney, Martin, and Owens waiting for them. Across the Grizzly logo and Parker. The lefty, a bit of a quiet game by his standards. No points and just one assist tonight. 
He's on the right elbow, drops it down low to Kyle Owens. Owens on the left block, kept his pivot foot. Over to Brandon Whitney, slashes through the paint. Finger roll good from Brandon Whitney. And he's the fourth Grizzly in double figures. Montana has scored six in a row. The lead is 20, 58 to 38. Vicentin down low Sorensen on the left block, backing down Whitney. Good defense from Whitney, doesn't matter as Sorensen converts it. His first made bucket from the floor, he has four on the night. Grizzways, no time in the front court as Whitney found his second straight win over the Bengals. And their 10th straight win here at home with a win. Montana will be one of 30 teams in the country to have a double digit home winning streak. First free throw good from Brandon Whitney, good to see him back in double figures after failing to do so the previous five games. Remember, he came off with a bang as he missed the second free throw. His first ever game is USC last year, 17 points. He was the first freshman to ever lead Montana in scoring in his debut. 59-40. to 40. Bengals failed to reach 50 points in their last three road games. Looked like they're going to get there tonight, but still a hefty deficit for them. A runner won't go. Fight for the rebound underneath the basket. Porter scrapping for it, and Sorensen pulls it out. Shot clock was reset to 20. It's down to 15. Sorensen, the freshman from Denmark, has been involved tonight. Four points for him. Guarded by Whitney on the perimeter. Foul trouble for both teams has been a storyline. Here is Sorensen rejected by Whitney at the foul stripe. Pulling it back, though, is the freshman Bergen. Out shot, no. Third chance. That won't go. And finally, Montana clears the board. Here's Parker. Three on two the other way. Drops it off. Owens, his jumper, no. His rebound chased down in the corner by Malik Porter. That's his eighth rebound. He's nearing double-double territory with seven points and eight boards. Quick profit and scoreboard update down in Pocatello. Lady Grizz hanging in there. They trail 53 to 45 with six minutes left to go. Grizzlies leading this one by 19. On the right side of the floor. Porter has it. Going one on one with Bannon. Turn around with the right hand. No. Fight for the board and a whistle. We'll keep it on this end. Parker picks it up this time. That'll be his second. The 17 foul against Montana. And free throws coming the rest of the way. Both teams already in the bonus. They've been in the bonus for quite some time. And you never like talking about fouls, but there has been 34 fouls called in just 30 minutes of game action. It's Kyle Owens, that trademark smile for KO. He's in double figure scoring tonight. Just his. Second time doing so against Division I teams. Did it against Air Force. He checks out of the game right now. His mom and a couple of other family members in attendance tonight. As Porter will shoot the front end of the one and one and calmly nets it home. Idaho State 9 of 12 from the stripe. Grizzlies 14 of 18. Montana third best free throw shooting team in the country. Idaho State second worst free throw shooting team in the big sky. Second free throw from Porter. Gets the kind roll and good. Daxton Carr will check in for Emmett Taylor, who's been extremely quiet tonight. The Grizz have not let him get loose on the perimeter. Martin will give it to Bannon, who is cherry-picking a bit in the front court. 59-42. to Coming up on 10 minutes left to go. Cam Parker outside the perimeter. Parker also a... Really good team guy, doesn't really care about personal numbers as long as the team wins as Bannon underneath muscled his way up and good. He now takes the team lead in scoring. 12 points and also a team best seven rebounds. Smaley on the left wing. Smaley was the 2016 Idaho 4A player of the year. I'd like to see Ryan Looney, he's really embraced his team having an Idaho flavor to them. Four Idaho products as Vicentin down low, Bannon laying on the floor. And no whistle. 61 to 44. Parker on the right wing. Travis Takir having words with Casey McClellan. Up ball loose and a rare turnover for Montana. Just their fourth of the game. 
Tara Cool coming the other way. Montana up 17. DJ Carter Hollinger on the floor with four. He pokes it out. Parker, a spin move down the lane. Outside Bannon. He has it at the foul stripe. Wide open for three. Lonel Martin, maybe two wide open. Great offensive rebound. Carter Hollinger. Shot clock resets for Montana. Already over their season average in offensive rebounds. 8.47 to go. Montana leads by 17. Here is Parker, stop and start. Outside, Carter Hollinger, great feed inside. Bannon has to pass out of it. Parker with one to shoot, three-pointer rims out. Grizzly made seven already tonight. Parker couldn't convert on that and back the other way. It's a 17-point game. As Tarek Cool on the left wing, and he is fouled. I'm looking for win number 151 tonight. Top five in school history in wins, top five in Big Sky history in winning percentage. As the first free throw from Tara Cool is good, a Providence scoreboard update. Down in Pocatello, Lady Grizz hanging in there. Can't quite close the gap, though. With no Sophia Styles tonight, they trail 61-50. to As the free throw good from Tara Cool. So the Grizzlies have three players with four fouls. Anderson, Carter, Hollinger, and Robbie Beasley. The five that are on the floor are Carter, Hollinger, Anderson, Parker, Whitney, and Vasquez. 61-46. to We near the eight-minute mark. Couple of tight Big Sky games. We'll tell you the scores on those. Uh, next stoppage of play. Parker down low. Anderson, another flush underneath. With eight second half points, Mac Anderson nearing double figure scoring for what would be the eighth time in his Grizzly career. 63 to 46. Vicenton has it up top over to Tara Cool. Cool will. Find Malik Porter and back around the horn to Daxton Carr. Carr has really struggled shooting since he's arrived in Pocatello. A kick ball in the passing lane. We'll reset the shot clock to 20 and keep it on this end of the floor. Montana shooting 47% for the game. They have made seven threes. They have four players in double-figure score. Mac Anderson, Lonel Martin close to be coming the fifth and the sixth. 7.39 to go. It's a 17-point lead. Tara Cool, 10 points in the game. He's one of two Bengals in double figures. Daxton Carr open for three. Off the heel of the rim, no. And Matt Ruskin said that ball went over the top of the backboard, which would mean it's out of bounds and over to Montana. Grizz have been playing with more pace. We'll get Coach Takir's take on that in the postgame show. You always love the wrinkles that Montana throws out there after taking time to self-assess a little bit as Parker has it underneath. Looking for Vasquez, catch and shoot three on the left wing. Tried to bank that one in. And he missed it. Made a deep three earlier in the game. Grizz back on defense, leading by 17. And Vasquez picks the pocket of Porter all the way to the hoop, drops it off to Anderson. And the ball will stay with Montana. It's a bit discombobulated coming down the floor. Vasquez knew that he had a trailing big man that was just waiting there to try and block the shot. 6.55 remains. Grizz lead by 17. 63-46. Vasquez down to Carter Hollinger and an offensive foul. That will be number five. And Idaho State inbounded that so quickly that there was not enough time to notify everyone that DJ Carter Hollinger fouls out of the game. In just 13 minutes of game action, really unfortunate for DJ tonight, who returned to the starting lineup for the first time in a couple of seasons. So he's the first Grizzly to foul out of this one. And the other two Grizzlies that have four fouls are now on the floor as Robbie Beasley comes into the game. Vasquez checks out. 6.50 remains. It's 63-46 Montana. Tara Cool up top and over to Malik Porter. They swing it around the horn to Daxton Carr. Back to Porter. Perimeter passing for Idaho State. They're not a team that likes to play quick, but the score is forcing their hand. As Cool misses that one off front iron, no. 
Parker the other way. Good up ahead pass to Beasley. Partially tipped on the three. Anderson saves it in. Right back to Beasley. Same spot for three. No. And Anderson fouled on the rebound. Mack is all over the floor tonight. He just inspires the rest of the team. The crowd loves it. He's the only Montana native on the roster as well. He had all three of those together. It's easy to like the way that Mack Anderson plays the game. As the third foul whistled against Daxton Carr. And Anderson will go to the free throw line for two. Ninth team foul against Idaho State. So Anderson has a chance to get into double figure score if he can make both of these free throws. Front end for Mack. Gets the roll. Everybody was going back. That's a rare scene. Even Anderson thought that one was off. Maybe a force from above forcing that one back in. And the lead is 18. Anderson with nine points in this game. Five of them coming at the stripe. Second free throw, good. And Mac Anderson is in double figure score for the second time this year and the eighth time in his 98 game at Grizzly career. 65 46 Montana. Coming up on six minutes left to go. Here in the final game of 2021, Tara Cool threw some contact. Wild shot off the mark. No, Josh Bannon clears the rebound. That's his eighth. Two rebounds away from another double-double. No look pass. Whitney open in the corner. Air ball to three and a weak side rebound from Daxon Call. Up the floor, Tara Cool. He is just trying to do it all by himself as this foul called on the floor. It's on Cam Parker. Parker's third with 5.54 remaining. Tenth team foul, so both teams now in the double bonus. Tara Cool will go to the line. Lady Grizz had cut it to a four-point game, but Idaho State has responded with four in a row down in Pocatello as the first free throw good here. So with one minute to go, Lady Grizz down 65.57 to Idaho State. No Sophia Styles tonight. 5.54 remains in this one. Montana leads 65 to 47. A good one over in Bozeman. The Cats lead Weber 62 to 61. And Southern Utah trying to hold off Sac State 51 to 44. Here is Bannon throws the lob and Anderson throws it down. With authority, Mac Anderson, a new season high. He has 12 points. It's one of five Grizzlies in double figures. He brings out his best against the Bengals. Last year, he had 15 points against ISU, second most in his career. 12 more tonight. 5.31 to go. It's 67 to 48. First free throw off the mark, no good. Second one coming and made by Parker. He has 15 points. So Anderson and Carter Hollinger, two of the Grizzly starters, have fouled out of this game. The lead is 18, 67 to 49. Approaching five minutes left to go. Parker will direct traffic in this one. Three assists for man that's seventh in the country in assists. This time he works his way to the basket, and he has his first points of the game. So now all nine Grizzlies that have played have scored. And the largest lead of the game has been matched at 20 and an offensive foul called against Idaho State. This time it is on Braden Parker and the big fellow will foul out. With 15 points in 20 minutes of game play. Led the team with 33 fouls coming in and couldn't stay out of foul trouble in this one. A good performance, though. He's disqualified. Five minutes to go. It's 69 to 49. Parker over to Bannon. Over on the right wing now to Robbie Beasley. 
Beasley will get it back to Bannon. Thought about the right wing three. Karam's near midcourt. Cam Parker has it. Six to shoot. Here is Parker getting a screen. Now down the lane. Great pass in the corner. Owens, right wing three, no. Shot clock was down to one. That would have brought the house down for an exclamation point. Instead, it's Emmett Taylor. His three off front iron, no. Rebound goes to Taylor. Great pass underneath. And no one with more than 12. Josh Bannon, 12 points, eight rebounds, nearing a double-double. Should be the eighth of his career. Some exciting games coming down to the finish. Stay tuned, more updates from the Providence scoreboard as Beasley will go into Josh Bannon. Great passing tonight from Montana. 13 assists on 23 made shots. Parker hanging in midair over to Robbie Beasley, excuse me, Brandon Whitney. That one rims out, rebounded by Idaho State. Pushing up the floor is Tarek Cool. His team down by 18. Idaho State will play a matinee in Bozeman Saturday. The Grizz will play a primetime night game against Weber State, who winning his programs in the Big Sky Conference. Up and under was good. Porter with a double-double tonight, 13 points and 10 rebounds. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Grizz up by 16. It's Owens outside to Cam Parker. Parker bounces it into the post underneath Bannon. Great move for Bannon as the Grizz are up and over 70. And Bannon takes the team lead with 14 points to go along with those eight rebounds. 71 to 53 as we come up on three minutes left to go. Ball was tipped in the passing lane, out of bounds. And just over 3,200 from here in Missoula, 3,233. Witnessed. Nice showing from the Grizzlies. Tara Cool, fadeaway jumper, way off the mark. Rebounded by Cam Parker, pushing it up the floor. Beasley, fly by from Porter. That ball dislodged. A hard foul that will, excuse me, no foul. And the ball will stay with Montana. Robbie Beasley, quite the demonstrative player out there as Parker will find Owens and over to Beasley. On the left side of the floor, they will feed Bannon down low. Finds Whitney through the paint outside Bannon. He loves that spot on the floor, and there's a reason why. Bannon with his second made three, 17 points tonight. For the Grizzly leading score. Largest lead of the night, 74-53. Montana's led by double figures the entirety of this second half. Brandon Whitney over to Cam Parker at the free throw line. Approaching two minutes left to go. The Grizz will slow things down. And heard Coach Takir, a little nugget in the pregame interview, says they take great pride in holding their opponent under their season average. Idaho State averages 61 a game. Bannon heat check. This one off the mark, no. Well, that might be something to chase here with two minutes to go. Tara Cool is bumped and fouled. Lady Grizz final score tonight was 69 to 61. Idaho State able to get the best of the Lady Grizz. Southern Utah about to beat Sacramento State, 60 to 49 in that one. Eastern Washington on top of Portland State, 30 to 27 on the road. And then the game we have our eyes on with seven minutes to go. The Cats leading Weber State 65 to 64. Grizz making some subs in and out. Brandon Whitney and Robbie Beasley both will come out. Vasquez checks in. Five Grizzlies that are out there with two minutes to go are Owens, Martin, Vasquez, Parker, and Bannon. Cools free throw off the mark, no, and Bannon will. Haul in his 10th rebound of the game. Another double-double for Josh Bannon. Fifth already this year. Eight in his Grizzly career. Here's Martin off of his screen. Good drop off to Bannon underneath. He's fouled. And free throws will come with 1.45 to go. So for Bannon, the MVP of the Zootown Classic. Really showing off his well-rounded game. He's a gym rat. See him in the gym when no one else is. He misses the first free throw. 
Well, one of the only things that has went against the Grizzlies tonight is that they are under their season average in free throw percentage, but it's a pretty high mark. Third best in the country at 81%. Bannon misses the second. 20-point lead. Nearing the final 90 seconds is Tara Cool guarded outside the perimeter tightly by Vasquez. Over to Emmett Taylor. He doesn't need much space to pull the trigger on the three, misses it, and rebounded by Vasquez. Up the floor to Cam Parker, cross-court pass. Martin passes up the three, drops it off to Bannon underneath the basket, and Bannon converts it. So the Grizzlies were very balanced scoring, and then Bannon has erupted late. He has 19 points and 10 rebounds. Grizz will beat Idaho State for the 22nd consecutive time, a streak that has lasted better than 12 years. Will now go over 4,400 days since the last time the Grizz fell the hands of the Bengals. Under a minute to go, Cam Parker dribbling it near midcourt, 76 to 54. This is the largest lead of the night for Montana. The C's part for Cam Parker, and he gets the layup to fall. Four points to go along with his four assists. And a timeout for Idaho State just to get some players in there. And Jack Wetzel will come in for Montana. This will be the seventh game. The freshman from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, will appear in. All of his points have come against non-Division I foes. Do the Grizzlies maybe give him one shot as Josh Bannon gets a nice ovation. 19 points, 10 rebounds. A good job of staying out of foul trouble, just so efficient. 35 seconds left to go. They will bounce this one in. Liam Sorensen, turnaround jumper, way off the mark, rebounded by Kyle Owens. Clocks are synced up. Montana can run this out if they choose, as Parker near midcourt. Over to Kyle Owens, a complete effort tonight for the Grizzlies as Travis Jakir will improve to 13-0 against Idaho State. And Montana will put an exclamation point on their 22nd straight win over the Bengals. This time by a final score of 78-54. to Grizzlies with just five turnovers in this game. They... Did not get caught looking ahead. They have Weber State coming to town on Saturday.